What up and welcome back to Boring Views. Nick there. Joey there. And today we're reacting to another... Billy Connolly. <laughs> Is that even a Scottish <laughs> accent? No. Not at all. Not at all. And we are reacting <laughs> to Don't Drink Tap Water in... Ibiza? Ibiza. 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 L at the end is an exclamation mark. Ibiza. Ibiza. Listen. Ibiza. Ibiza. I, and we mentioned before, so if you heard before, I don't even get too into it. I got sick on our trip to the UK. Very common from what I hear, from one country to another country. And now I'm thinking, I have no idea what got me sick. First I thought it was the airplane food, this or that. Now I think it might have been the tap water. Just because, not that the water's bad, but just my system's not used to it. So I can definitely relate. Okay, um, I'm not going to say I went to, well, maybe it was worse than that deli belly that we heard from Mickey Flanagan, because mine was like Ford, anyway, I'm not going to get into it. Um, so I'm excited for this, to hear what he has to say, because maybe that tap water experience is going to be the same as my experience, and I can relate and connect and feel very special about myself. If you like reactions to Billy Connolly or comedy in general, you came to the right place. We reacted to so many of them, dozens and dozens, dozens, probably almost 10 of his alone. Check them out on the channel. Please, if you like this in any way, we would really appreciate the support by liking, subscribing, and Joke. have like a not choking. Seriously, don't choke. <laughs> and by hitting that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload video. Now, I will say we did continue to drink the tap water though. Every time we got water, and they had it in like that little picture. Well, was someone tap. was freaking me out. Like you're gonna get dehydration sickness. Drink, drink, drink. I'm just saying. Didn't see you drink that much. Oh, I did. And I drank all their water, and I was just fine. As always, it was a sauce. It was your fault. And I would, pre I would prefer you choke after you get the whole like and subscribe cord plug. Appreciate that. Here we go. I must tell you, we used to go on these awful holidays, you know, and freeze the balls off each other, fingers all chopped and freezing. Although, in a way, Didn't say we. yeah, even better definitely. than than the Spanish cheapo, you know. They suited our skin better. You see, I'm a Scottish person. <laughs> that is my colour. <laughs> I'm a kind of pale blue. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me a week of sunbathing to get white. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the chemist, I'll have a bottle of suntan lotion, please. Factor 27. <laughs> And they give me an asbestos suit and a welder's helmet. <laughs> See, I'm from the north. We're not supposed to be in hot places. Our skin falls off. <laughs> Round our ankles like fucking pyjama trousers. <laughs> and you can see us sitting on the beach like baboons picking each other's skin off. <laughs> I was in Ibiza once. I will never forget it. It's tattooed in the inside of my head. Apart from the sun, we checked in. I had two children then. I was married before. And I was unpacking. And I'm giving everybody a lecture. Don't drink the water. Oh, no. Drink right? It. Now, I've got a bottle. Your daddy's... I've put the bottle over here. Now, listen to your dad. The bottle's there. That one says Evian. See it? Evian. Right. Evian. That's the water. <laughs> Don't even brush your teeth with that. Don't drink, okay? That's good. Now, behave. Now, get about your business. I'm unpacking here. My son drank the water, <laughs> slaked his thirst, as was his wont, and then filled the bottle from the tap. Oh, no. Unknown to me. Oh, my God. A good boy. <laughs> good. We all agreed he was a nice boy when he got out of the hospital. <laughs> A sound thrashing was delivered, but <laughs> I was half with it. God, I could die for a drink. I said, it's a, it's a good way to show the children what to do. Right, you watching, kids? This is me drinking the water from the bottle. It's as glad as I am. Oh, nice water. Mm -hmm. Continued with the unpacking, farting about, messing about, well, literally farting about. <laughs> <laughs> you say that Got fast. the thing you went, I said, God, I'm going to fart. <laughs> uh, you don't want to fart all over your family, you know? Listen. I'll go out in the veranda. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bathroom. So I did the, Every time. the man needing to fart getting out of the room walk. <laughs> so 
Oh, the view is lovely out here. When you finish unpacking, you must come out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fabulous out here. <laughs> that sounds so good. So bad. Fart run behind my knee. <laughs> Fourth part run behind my knee. Oh my god! <laughs> and I ran mm -hmm. from the knees yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Into the toilet and I locked the door behind me. I whipped the tweeds <laughs> down and mid run. Sat in the toilet, not a second too soon. <laughs> oh, oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh Jesus! to stand up. It was dark. <laughs> Everybody was asleep. Nope. I didn't want to go to bed in case something awful happened. You know, bloody bed. I mean, can you imagine? I paced the room with very short steps. <laughs> All night. Oh, don't go. Don't go to a bather. Stay here. Okay. There is so much I can say, but I will spare everybody because this is one of my favorite topics and I have so much experience with this. I have the, one of the worst stomachs of all time. We've been, everyone's been asking me, you know, my friends, how was the trip? How was the trip? And I, I had to mention my guy to say this. Of course you didn't. Of course you did. He's like, I'm never trapped. The guy today, I'm never traveling with you ever because you always get sick. It's absolutely true. I do. But you know what I'm thinking the entire time I'm watching that? I'm thinking to myself, you are so lucky that you were in a place that had a bathroom in the vicinity. Because imagine that that happened to you and you're like, 
in the UK where there's not toilets ever like here in the US or whatever. And you're trying, or like in COVID where like everything was shut down. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm driving. I have to go to the bathroom and I can't go to the bathroom anymore. At least it was like right there. That's what I'm saying. That's my connection because I've been there so many times. He doesn't want to add anything. The last thing I'm going to add has nothing to do with this, but I just thought it was interesting. I love the Superman movies. And in the third Superman movie, which critics hate, I love that movie, there's a character in there that as a kid I always had the biggest crush on. I can't remember what her name is in the movie. I think her real name is Pamela Stevenson. I looked this up because it turns out she's married to Billy Connolly. They've been married for oh, how As a kid, cute. I always thought she was like the most beautiful woman or whatever. Turns out, like he said he was married before. I read it up. It was something like, I'm sure they were probably separated, but he was still married to his wife when he met this other lady um, and they just fell in love. They were already like living together while he was still married. Was like, I don't know what the whole story was, but I just thought that was really cool. And like, right now, like he's like super, super sick or he's cancer or something like that. He's not doing too well. And as far as I know, she's still there right at his side. And anyways, awesome that she's there random fact, but I thought that was really cool as I was looking that up, watching Superman 3 for the millionth time. I wonder what this girl's doing. I will say, um, sorry, but to the country name. No, I'm not yeah. the biggest fan of <laughs> this kind of a conversation, but he did do the sounds very well. Excellent. It was very funny and <laughs> can say that we couldn't relate to it. Oh, absolutely. Everyone can, everybody can relate to this in some way, whether you want to admit it or not. And I know it's not everyone's favorite topic, my favorite topic, but the thing is like, I love how he and so many comedians that we watch. But he especially, like, you feel like you're there. Exper mm -hmm. He's experienced it right there. He's so good at the yeah. acting part of it and becoming that part of his self in the past. I thought it was fantastic. Um, very, very funny. The whole thing, like, when he's going out to the, the veranda, you know, to fart or whatever. <laughs> Listen, I'm a teacher, right? I'm locked in that room. You don't want to, you know, Dutch up in the whole students or whatever. So walking out, outside, oh, yeah, that's great. Kids, give me two sets. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. Kay. Been there, done that. I will say one thing is we were at girls camp and we were in a very high elevation and it messed with a lot of us. But at one point, like I could not control myself and I would just be talking to girls and like out would be farts. So I'm like, oh. I am so sorry. And like they just laughed and didn't care. But I was like, oh my gosh. Listen, <laughs> so I don't even, I've been there plenty of times. We're like, I'm so in there, sorry. <laughs> I don't even take any responsibility. I want the students, not once in all the years I've taught. Usually I'll just, I won't say anything and they won't say anything. Or sometimes like if they notice, I'll be like, look at someone else. Like, <laughs> and without blaming them, just give them that look like, and I'll even do like a, <laughs> like, I'm horrible. I know this video should be titled TMI. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our conversation. Definitely hope you enjoyed our reaction. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Goodbye.